What's up everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. So today we're going to be doing an animal, an African wild dog, or an African hunting dog. It's the sort of wolf-like dog with the big ears. It's kind of cool, so. Um, yeah, let's go on a landscape orientation page. Use a pencil and hit pause if I go too fast. Use a pencil and eraser first. Oop. So set point of my page is approximately here, and that's about where the eyes are going to be just to make room for all those big ears right so just along this center line we're going to start with his right eye and we're going to just curve a line so he's quite small eyes for a dog I guess like so so a curve line across like so and then we'll bring it's kind of like a lemonish sort of shape you know like sort of like that And then the iris, just here, and it comes around the back, just up there, right? And in here can be black, colored in, right? Like so. So in the way of pupil, so it's kind of, so he's got like a flat top sort of eyelid here and the pupil comes down from the top. So then some details just around the eye, so we can add like kind of an eyelid line just coming around the top. Um, something similar coming around the bottom here, just to give it a bit of detail, right? And there's more fur and stuff around the eyes, but we will, we'll come back and do the other eye first. So you can fit about one, two eyes across, right? So the width of his eye goes once, twice, and that's approximately where the next eye is going to start, right? So you're going to go up and over here. Again, same sort of thing. Like so. And you're going for that sort of lemon type of shape, right? Down and around. Go underneath into there. And then his iris and the pupil again. So just here and here. And these can be colored in dark black. These corners, like so. And then the iris just coming down from here. These can be as big or as small as you want as well. The pupil, sorry, the pupil, did I say iris? Once they're kind of roughly the same size as one another, too bad and then so again some sort of detail lines coming around the eye just here right and then we got like some more sort of texture lines and hair lines and things coming around the dog's eyes right so like sort of furry line that's got like whiskers and stuff growing out just here, like a bumpy sort of section. And there's like whiskers and things kind of grow out of there. And you do sort of the same thing on the other side. And this can be like a sketchy hairy line coming around like so. Right, most canines and stuff have shapes like this. And then some more coming around, kind of like an eyebrow sort of line coming around here. And this comes joins this section here. Nice. So an eyebrow. This is a bump on the inside of the eye, and then an eyebrow just kind of coming over the top here. Okay. So we got like some fur coming in just here towards the snout, just there. And then we got some bags coming under the eyes, like some big hairy. sketchy sort of lines like this. 
but you can make these as hairy or as not hairy as you want like you could do smooth line smoother sketchy lines it's kind of up to you whatever style you like to do like so right so now we come down and do his nose right so i'd say the width that you've got this triangle going on so the width between the eyes right so remember it's two eyes over one two and then that width between the two eyes brings you down to like the middle of his nose so there's this perfect sort of triangle going on between the nose and the eyes right so the center point of his nose is going to be say here so if you measure this it should bring you to the eye right so that's going to be like the center of his nose and this will have sort of a line coming across that middle part of his nose right so then this kind of curves up the side and then bring down for the side of his his nose and his nostrils right so we've got like curving down the side here so again width of the eye brings you to about the middle of his nose and then we got these curved parts and then we'll go across the top of the nose right this is like the top of his nose so then those pretty big nostrils right so we kind of curve in here right up and around and back down here same thing on this side curve it up and around you don't have to be the exact same on both sides but you're just roughly looking for that same shape and this joins back into here and then we go down around for the bottom of his nose down to the center and it has a little sort of spike that sticks out in the center down here right, like that and then like a line up the middle and then there's like shadow inside here so it's a dog nose so it's got like you know an inner part curve line here curve line there and then shadow so like dark black and some like hatching lines and stuff so it doesn't have to be like completely dark black but you know just something like that and then you can have some extra detail lines coming around the side of his nose if you want of course if you want stressing that like so right so his snout right so comes down curves around right curves down this way and this kind of comes out to that dog-like smile that they have right so it, it's going to come out like this on both sides so we're kind of underneath his eyes now see that and then we've got like a tiny little sort of, I would call it just a black little shadow, just here, right? Dogs, most canines have this sort of black gum, right? This is like just here on the sides of their mouth. Okay. And then his chin is just down here and it can be kind of a furry sort of chin, right? up into here and then we can give him a sort of dark black shadow across here then so our African hunting dog friend has Kind of an extra sort of bag of skin or something coming down here it's like more of his face and it kind of curves up and around around this black section and then this kind of comes out to the side of his face right curves out this way we do the same thing on this side so kind of bumps out here 
Now it can be a curvy, hairy line. It doesn't have to be. you know, sketchy sort of hairline coming up around his face here. Like so. And then we have some snout lines, right? So, say coming up the side of his face here. So, and then up towards his eyes, we've got like a line going up the center there. Going up into these sorts of sections in the corner of his eyes, just there. And then you could have like a line up the middle, you know, some hatching and stuff here. Like so. Has some like stray hairs and things and whiskers and stuff sort of hanging down. But like some hair. Like so. Right, and then so top of his head, right? I guess we get that in. So let's see, let's measure. Eyes to top of his head is about the same as eyes to nose, right? So eyes to there, top of the head, approximately here, right? Right, so eyes to top of the head, about the same as eyes to nearly bottom of his nose, right? Just there. And our friend has sort of a, a black sort of area of hair coming down the middle of his face, right? So most hunting dogs, African wild dogs have this. So this is like all black in here. All right, so it's like dark black in the center part. All right, and then coming out from that, we'll do the shape for his head, all right? So we'll go just a sketchy sort of hairy line coming around. Coming around like so. And he, he can have some like hair lines in here as well. Like coming around his eyes and stuff. All right, and this kind of comes down like so. And then it kicks out real far. So it comes into this part of his face, joins that part of his face, and then it's gonna come out to like some real big hairy parts that come out from the bottom of his neck, even down here. All right, so, so just these sort of hair spikes. They can go in like all different directions. lines on them and stuff like that. Right, we do that pretty much over this side as well. So again, similar sort of thing. Going around. Bit of a bump here on the side of his head, it just sticks out a bit more. It's where his head joins his ears, and then this comes down again towards his face, and then we have the big part, the big hairy part starts to come out. Then, and we can have some hairlines coming down his forehead. So, right, so we keep going with this hair. So, like so. And then it 
kind of goes in underneath his chin. So it like sticks out and then it's all matted and stuff and it looks real messy and kind of dirty. So don't worry if there's no pattern really, you're just sort of like so. So like that. Right, so then it's ears. So those big massive ears. So coming out like here and here, right? Well, I'm trying to even them up. So here, be like just a hairline on the inside. So coming out here, and we're gonna go up and around, right? Really big. Bigger than you think. So like they're massive. And you can have like hair on them sometimes, you know, can be a sketchy line if you want. Or just a straight line. Just a plain drawn in line like, like that. Curving down. So his ears are like the same size as his head it seems. So like very, very big. Right, we'll do the other one just to get them sort of the same size and then we'll add some details inside for hair and stuff like that. So we'll go out and around. Like so, and this kind of curves in. We've got like a bump on this, this level, kind of sticks in a little bit and then we'll bring it down and to there. So as you can see, very big ears. Okay, so very big ears and they're very hairy on the inside, right? So adding hairlines, sticking in like this. Coming up and around. And so there's like hatching, like dark shadow sort of area, just all in here, right? So we've got the hairy area. And then we'll just darken up sort of in around here. Just to make it look like it's a bit darker just on the inside of his ear. And then there's like hairlines coming around. We'll make this look kind of as hairy as we can. So we want this to be a sort of a shadowy area. Gradually gets kind of lighter as you go out. And he does, he can have some sort of black sections around the edge of his ear, sort of around here. So just darkening up really on the inside. Just to make it look like that ear goes in rather than it's flat like the rest of his face. You know, you want a section that looks that looks darker on the inside. So then you can hairy make it hairy as much as you'd like. 
you know, you can keep drawing this kind of stuff for hours. I think I'll just add this darker sort of hairy area, just make it sort of black around the edges. Well, I think I'll leave it there. You could you could do more if you wanted. If you wanted to make it more dark, it's totally up to you. But we'll go over and we'll try and get the other side done before we run out of time too much. So we'll just sketch in those hairy sections again. So real big sort of curved lines on them. Here. And there's a dark black edge to it. And, and then we'll go for our hatching dark black in around here. that'll do and then so we'll go down and just finish his neck right so again we got like just these hairy sort of furry lines coming down side coming down here and then we've got like some stuff coming out the front as well Sort of spiky lines. There's lots of lots of this on this front chest area there. So I'll just um, add some extra weight to the edge. So you're just picking up these sort of edge lines. Makes the drawing stand out sometimes a little bit more. Just adding a little extra detail just around his face here. Um, Right, so yeah, and that's kind of orange in here and black all around there. So when you're coloring, if you're coloring, of course. Um, just adding some more <laughs> lines. Whiskers, I think, sometimes grow out of these. So I'm going to add some there and maybe some here. Some whiskers and stuff like that. But I got to stop. That is how to draw an African hunting dog or an African wild dog. Hope was helpful. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one.